Hi guys, Where's your newborn baby sister. Is she okay? You have to protect your baby sister. Guys, calm down. Protect her from what? Microplastics. They're a big problem right now. Ah, uh, I already knew about that. Plastics are essentially indestructible. Rather than being biodegraded, they break down into smaller and smaller pieces, becoming microscopic fragments, also known as microplastics. More attention needs to be paid to these tiny fragments and their effects on planetary health. But this is an every person problem. What if it's extra worrying toward my baby sister? <sighs> There's a lot you need to know. Huge amounts of microplastic now contaminate the entire planet, from the summit of Mount Everest to the deepest oceans. People are already known to consume the tiny particles via food and water, as well as breathing them in, and they have been found in the feces of babies and adults. Previous studies have shown that microplastics were 10 times higher in the feces of babies compared to adults, and babies swept with plastic bottles are swallowing millions of microplastic particles each day. Within the feces matter, researchers were looking for two commonly found plastics, which is polyethylene terephthalate, also known as PET plastic, and also polycarbonate. Within all collected samples of poop, researchers found at least one type of plastic. Traces of plastic were also found in a newborn's first bowel movement, suggesting that the plastic was already in their systems. Babies could be harmed by microplastic pollution even before they are born. That's right. According to a new study conducted by scientists at Utrecht University, even large particles of plastic can be absorbed by placenta cells in a laboratory setting. Babies are exposed to high levels of plastics. Some things need to be done. The new study finding of microplastic in infant feces is alarming because babies are more prone to negative health effects during development. Early life stage are very vulnerable as capable adults. We need to start acting on parental health for the betterment of these babies who will be the future inhabitants of the earth. Three primary steps are to be taken to keep this issue under control. In the short term, society needs to significantly avoid unnecessary single-use plastics such as water bottles, plastic shopping bags, straws, and utensils. In the medium term, governments need to strengthen garbage collection and recycling systems to prevent waste from leaking into the environment and to improve recycling rates. In the long run, scientists need to devise ways to break plastic down into the most plastic units, which can be revealed into new plastics or other materials. Guys, I had come across a very intriguing statement. Plastic will be the main ingredient in our grandchildren's recipe, quoted by Anthony T. Hinks. If we don't add now, not only it will be their recipe, it will become their own bodies. We should join hands with the Planetary Health Alliance in order to sustain the planet from the contamination of plastics. Hence, protecting the future generation, one of them being my baby sister.